All right, what's up, dude and dudettes? No, 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 no. All right, what's up, people of YouTube? Oh, All right, what's up, everybody? Um, T Res Fitness. Fi Shit. What's up everybody? This is T-Rest Fitness. If you don't know who I am, you better check out my road to six-pack. Alright, so I just woke up as you can see probably. Um, I woke up at nine something. It's totally not nine. Today I don't have any work and I don't have any uh, university lectures going on. So I'm just gonna show you how my average day would go when I don't have anything else going on. So I usually wake up around 9, 9 a.m. Now I overslept. And because I don't eat any breakfast, you know, at this time I'd usually just sit at my computer and uh, play some computer games maybe. Just uh, spend some time before I actually hit in the gym at 1, 2 p.m. But I decided that I'd make a video because I found that this is one of the best things that I used last cut. This is one of the things that I haven't mentioned, although it was the lifesaver last cut. Check this out. This is ham slices. And the thing with ham slices is there's zero carbs in this, 120 calories, 20 grams of protein, one package is 120 grams, it means you get 120 calories, which means you get about 25 grams per package. This is the most perfect thing, at least for me, to uh, fill up the macros. Let's say I haven't gotten enough protein. You guys know that I try to get 150 grams of protein every day. So when you're looking to increase your amount of protein, maybe you just add this. Plus, this actually tastes pretty good. I, 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 I do this for, for meals sometimes. For this cut, I haven't used this as much as I did last cut. When people ask me like, what are you eating? Wow, have you lost so much weight? I'd uh, just laugh and say, it's the ham, it's the ham diet. And they're like, what's the ham diet? I say, I only eat ham. They're like, that's it? Like I would eat it after the gym, right at the gym. I come home, I eat it, and I'll eat it for breakfast and then maybe for dinner. And that's of course not a sustainable diet, so for this, uh, cut I've tried to experiment a little bit you know it's been, it's been more difficult because now I have to be patient with my stuff I have to see does this work okay I noticed that I didn't lose weight like for one two weeks I instantly uh, had to change up some things but uh, now I'm feeling that it's time to make a comeback with the ham slice diet so uh, how do you make it you just buy a package and that's all you eat Mmm, it's so good. So that's really amazing. Although, these uh, packages have a lot of salt and sodium. So it attaches water weight. So um, let's count my macros today and see how well I do with the no carbs diet. Alright, so today was back day and as you can see, my functional strength is a lot, lot better. I can do the full range of motion, I can do a lot more reps, I can do a lot more sets and it's just a complete difference. I don't know if it's shown in the video. I don't know why I didn't do 8 reps in the first set, I, I think I forgot the counting or something. Anyways, uh, the reason why I do the pull-ups is because I want to be able to have the functional strength. If I do other exercises first, that's gonna tire me out and I'm not gonna be able to do them afterwards. So I'd rather work out and tire myself with that first and then proceed with the other exercises. So this is the workouts that I usually do. If you wanna know what my workout is specifically for, for back day, I can show you and write it out in the description below which exercises I've been doing the most to get my uh, strength and everything. I don't have the best back in the world, so I don't think I'm a legit person to give you that kind of you know information and, and uh, tips. Whoa. 
Your back is one of the largest muscle groups in your body and that's why I believe working out heavy is extremely important. So that's why I work out heavy, I do supersets, I do drop sets, I do just as many exercises as I can and just completely drain myself. So that's what you're seeing right now. Fem stycken. Vad är det där? Enkelt. Enkelt, man. Easy. Vad är det? Vad är det? Jag var sista nu, jag står. Kom igen. En till, en till, en till. I always warm up with a lighter weight. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just making sure that I get to know the movement. I never and rarely just put a shitload of weight and then try to pull it. I don't think that's in any way efficient for either the, the lift or the progress. I'm not kidding, I'm about to puke, man. It's <laughs> Uh, excuse me beforehand if this particular part is pretty boring because nothing is really happening but I just want to show you guys how completely exhausted I was and I think it was with the help of the pre-workout that I had because I was able to push myself at every exercise but at this point I had gone overboard I felt like I was about to puke which isn't a bad thing it just shows that I was going all the way and I definitely recommend that you push yourself every time especially if you want to burn a lot of energy you really have to exhaust yourself but the reason why I'm showing you guys this is because this happens and you have to find the motivation and strength to keep going because your body isn't always at the same point as your mind is your mind might have given up before your body and, and, and that's what I think is really important that I show you so I'm still working out but I'm doing it with a very much lower weight and I'm just completely not satisfied with what I'm doing. Fuck that. I was thinking about what I would tell you guys why, why, why I would uh, reduce the weight so much because I usually work out with 150, 140 kilos and then you'd ask yourself why you're working out. You'd ask me why do you work out with 100 kilos and only do six reps. And as I was thinking about what kind of excuse I would give you guys, I thought, fuck that, I can't do that. So I'm gonna rest a little bit and uh, give 140 kilos a shot and show you guys that there is no fucking excuse. All right. Leo motivated me. Let's go. See that then. Talk it again. Come here. Time to buy some groceries and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna cook today because one of you guys requested that I do a low caloric meal that's actually pretty tasty. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys tonight what's gonna go down in the kitchen. No, okay. 
All right, um, so I'm cooking up the meal here. This is 400 grams, which means I'm gonna get 800 calories just from the minced meat. So this is how I was taught to do it. You throw in a little bit of water. Obviously, when you're doing tacos, if you're like Mexican, if you're habla español, claro que sí, no entiendo mucho, pero ahora hace cinco años he estudiado en escuela y solamente hablo con mis amigos en mi tiempo libre. You're not gonna buy the mainstream, you know, uh, just spices that's called taco spices. But since I'm not really Mexican, I wouldn't know, and obviously I don't have the, you know, I'm too lazy to look up the actual recipe. So let's just be boring like this and uh, throw this in here and make it taste uh, like tacos. The next thing we have is some cheese. Now you have to be careful because this has a lot of calories and fat. So there we go, that's it. 400 grams of minced meat, salad, some cheese, some guacamole sauce, um, some uh, taco sauce and some uh, yogurt. And um, you know, zero, zero carbs, basically zero carbs. So uh, time for the second glass of water. God damn it. If you follow me on Snapchat, you should know that I'm completely exhausted, that I was lying in my bed. My stomach's still full, but no, no, man. No, man. We gotta work for this stuff. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You know, I'm sort of hyped up. Look, don't I look like freaking stupid? I, I, I walk around with by myself and I talk to this camera for you guys watching, it's like completely normal. But then I turn around and I see myself in the mirror, it's like, the fuck are you doing? Alright, so the cork was actually like 10 days old. So I had to throw it away and I could I was waiting to eat uh, cork and wild berries. But what I'm gonna do instead is oh I was so trying to place there. But uh, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get some uh, drinking cork and rice cakes. Let me know what you think about this episode and you know where to hit me up, T Rest Fitness on Facebook. Also uh Follow me on Snapchat so you can see every meal that I'm eating as I'm eating them. Also, whenever I do cardio and you can ask me stuff there as well. Um, follow me on Instagram just to see the pictures and everything. Yeah, basically just I'm more active on those things than on YouTube. So if you want to know what I'm doing, that could be pretty good for you to do. And I always appreciate the support. 
thanks to the 3,000 subscribers, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so exhausted, man. What do you think of this kind of video? Do you think I should do more of these or switch up like I have been? Because I'm trying to find the perfect uh, way of doing the videos. I think this is more intense, like more fun. 